So tonight's video is how to use Google Plus's new Pages feature for your business. And I'll tell you right now, this is something I'm extremely excited about. And why am I excited about this? Because Google is starting to revolutionize social networking. They're making it where I don't just go to a site to connect. They're actually gonna tie social networking into search. So we're gonna quickly walk you through how to create a Google Plus page. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to log into your Google Plus account. Next, click on create a Google Plus page in the right hand corner. And now we're gonna to get to choose from a whole host of different categories, a business, a place, a product, a brand, a company, arts and entertainment, sports, and the all encompassing other category. Next, you're gonna to wanna to put in a business name and a website if you have one. I highly recommend completing this information. Why? Because Google Plus will use this information to not only recommend your page within Google Plus, but Google is tying Google Plus into their search. This means more people will be able to find your page. So you're part of the way through creating a Google Plus page for your business, your personal life, etc. The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to add a tagline. This is key information. So for example, if I'm involved with social media, I would put social media in my tagline, marketing, um, possibly, you know, my products, etc. And then I'm going to want to add a profile photo. Once you've done this, you're going to now end up with a Google Plus page that looks just like a profile. So as you can see here, my tagline appears right underneath my page name. And my page name has an identifier next to it. That identifier helps you distinguish between a Google Plus profile and a Google Plus page. You'll see why it's important in a few minutes. Now that we've created a Google Plus page, I wanted to show you what happens when you search for something and find the same name. On the left, I have my Google Plus profile. On the right, I have my Google Plus page, which is denoted by the little symbol next to the name. So let's say you want to search for something on Google Plus. Simply put the plus sign and then the name. And as you can see here, I found a lot of different pages that are on Google Plus. All I have to do, just like a profile, is click on it, and then I can add that page to a circle. So this way, anytime I want to quickly see something or send something out to that page, I can reference the circle. By creating Google Plus profiles and Google Plus pages, Google has done a terrific job of linking the two together. Now, not only do I have the ability to connect with people, but I have the ability to share my content more with businesses. This means that I'm going to have the opportunity for more connections. And by having more connections, this means you have more opportunities to not just be able to connect with people, but to also to connect with businesses and to let businesses know about a product, a website, a service, what have you. This means more and more people are going to become entrepreneurs. They're going to have the ability to create their own market just by sharing content and the things that they are passionate about. So if you have any additional questions about using Google Plus pages, feel free to connect with me. Here's my official Google Plus page. Thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you'll have a terrific evening.